this wonderful model. It's by Dark Ops. Link in the description. Frigate, Seawolf Frigate, it's called. Um, I, I, I really enjoyed putting it together. Um, I love the design, I love the way that you can take the sections, the different decks apart for your wargaming and role playing exploits. There we go. You can be a hero by taking the lower decks after boarding. Look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. You know, these bits that come with it as well. Look at this. It's a metal cannon, comes with the actual kit. I mean, come on, those are metal uh, gun barrels on the MDF wood carriage, gun carriage, just like, you know, it would have been a metal gun on a wooden carriage years and years ago, decades, centuries ago. Um, I love it. Now, I don't want to mess this up, because I think this is a beautiful design, so I want to kind of keep it as it is, but I want it to be my own as well. So I've been thinking of ways to make it kind of my own ship. So I put the um, I put the sails on. I actually made the sails unfurlable, um, which uh, I'm quite proud of. Um, that's really fun. I've got some. I've started to look for twenty-eight mil scale furniture. And that's out of a Mantic game, that's out of a Dungeon Saga, so I'm going to put those in the captain's cabin. Now you can't put much in, you can look for a cot next to a bed, that'd be great. So the captain now has got a table to work at, he hasn't got a chair to sit on yet, but uh, you know, hopefully. And he's got a book case to keep his books on, so there you go, so, uh, that's what I've got so far. Um, so I wanted to continue to modify my ship but not mess up the, what I think is a beautiful and wonderful design that Dark Ops has done. So I looked at the internet and found these um, from Game of War. Games of War. Games of War, the company is called. And they do these wonderful... I don't know if you can see that. I'll get it out in a second. These wonderful swivel guns with fittings as well. Look. So I'm going to get those out. My plan is I bought four. They were three quid fifty each. Is that a lot? I don't, I don't think so. Not, uh, not. I don't think it is. Um, not when. Uh, that that. Not when it's cast brass and uh, and all the little fittings in it to make it work. So I'm gonna I'm gonna unbox that. I'll unpack it. This is an unpacketing. There we go. That's what I'm going to do. So let's uh, empty the packet out. There it is. So I have four of these, and I've often seen ships with pairs of them on you know, my exhaustive and historical research on YouTube and uh, <laughs> the internet. I'm no expert in history at all. Use a little bit, so just make sure I get them out. So let's go through them in order. I'll put the gun last. We've got this bracket here. I believe that that. crowns the gun it goes goes around the gun and uh, a little pin goes through uh, and that's the mount on which the gun sits and that there is the very little pin there we go goes through the gun <clears throat> through the through the bracket and we've got I think a pin oops don't drop it don't drop it very sore don't drop it yeah crawling around the floor for a day trying to find it. There we go. I think that's just the pin to put it onto whatever fiction you want to. Often these were fixed to the sides of ships uh, by my very scant research. So I guess you just uh, you knock that into the ship itself. And in my case, that's looked very lucky because the ship I'm using is made of wood. So that's okay. And then we've got this here, which I believe is the aiming arm. So the, the sailor, marine, would uh, use that handle, sticks out the back of the gun to aim it. <clears throat> this being a swivel gun has the advantage, I guess, of being able to point in different directions. They're a rocket science piece of te technological analysis for you watchers. Then we've got the 
gun itself. Look at that. I love that piece. You see there the holes. Which will allow the pin to go through. The bracket's going to sit on. So there we go. That is what you get in the packet. And as I say, I've got... Um, four packets. There we are. So I'm going to enjoy putting those together. So I'm going to put one of those together now. So to put one of your swivel guns from Game to War together, this is just the way I suggest to do it. This isn't uh, part of any instructions they do or anything like that. So what I suggest doing is first taking the gun. There we are. Find a little hole in the side. There it is. And finding a very small pin. Like so. There you go, very small pin. Can you see that? There you go, that's how tidgy it is. Isn't it beautiful? There you go, find that little pin. And you put that pin in the side of the gun in the minuscule little hole. It takes a couple of seconds, especially with. My lack of dexterity. In she goes. There we go. Now that will poke all the way through, but it won't probably go through with just your thumbnail. You probably will, but you'll probably bust your thumbnail doing it. I'm using something hard here. Use my little steel ruler just to poke that through. It doesn't it's not broken so far. This is the fourth one I've done. It's not broken so far. So let's hope that's not a curse. Let's poke the pin through. Oh. It gone. There we go. It's going in. There you go. You can see it's going in. At least all the way through. Poke. It's going through. Okay. It's my steel rule. It's like a thimble, really, isn't it? I'm using the, th uh, the steel rule as. There we go. That's about right. But this approximately the same amount sticking out over either side. There we go. Right. So there is actually an up and down to this gun. We'll come to that in a bit. Actually, we'll do the uh, do the pin first. So next, take the pin. There you go. The pin. Lovely. It's a pin. Um, and the bracket. There's the bracket. In my mouth, that's not very health and safety. Apologies for that. There you go. There's the uh, the bracket. Sit the pin through the center hole of the bracket. Right through. Oh, that's not bad. That didn't take long. That's pretty good for me. There you go. Through the center hole of the bracket. Then bend carefully, not fast. Okay, you warm it up, maybe. I don't know if that counts. If that works. You see, is that lovely to be working with metal as well? Um, I'm going to bend that up like so each side. And I would suggest just under a 90 degree angle. There we go. See, these are just my suggestions. I've not got any uh, instructions of how to do this off of anyone else. Please feel free to use your own methods. Don't blame me if you break your model. <laughs> there we go. There you go. So now the gun will sit in that bracket. So next we're going to put the gun into the bracket. Now I've worked out where the bottom of the gun is. Let's try and put... Okay, so that's one pin into the hole of the bracket. Now the trick is to get the pin in the other side as well like so here we go great next I'll put the um, next I'll put the arm on then finally dab of glue you super glue I do okay Don't need much. A dab on the bottom. That was easy to find now because now there's a bracket sticking out underneath it. So there you go. A little dab. 
Oh, is he going to the right place? Can take through a camera. There we go. Lovely. Pick up the aiming arm. Again, it's a case of guiding the aiming arm in. More by feel than sight. There we go, found the hole. <laughs> Sorry about my sniffing, bit of a cold. There we go, look at that. Straighten that up just a little bit. Before it dries, there we go, perfect. So there we are, we've finished articles, they're all in place now, that's great, and as I say, I can just take them out, put them back in whenever I want, no problem, put them somewhere else in the, in the boat for storage and transport, there we go, there's the other one, there's three, and there's the fourth, the last one there. Looking great. Look at that, wonderful. So, I'm ready now, not only to destroy enemy ships with my large guns, but also I can repel borders with my swivel guns. These wonderful pieces, as I say, are available from uh, Games of War. Um, and I'll link the website in the description. Um, thanks for joining me on this, so remember, to keep your powder dry when on the high seas so that you too can repel borders and take enemy prize ships no matter what the sea throws at you.